you guys, this is Shaw Kirby 707 and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. And we got interrupted by the postman. Yeah, I just had... <laughs> okay, yeah. Yes, okay, you deliver a letter from Shad. Hmm. What does he want? I'm just gonna go, up, go to him Um, in this part. Yeah, so in the previous part we did the boring statue side quest. And today we are going to meet up with Shad and with the Golden Wolf before I meet up with Shad. And I'm not going to bother to read this. You guys can read it on your own. Just pause the video and just read it. I don't care what <laughs> they say. Alright, anyways. So yeah, before we meet up with Shad, we're going to go meet up with the Golden Wolf and learn our final skill. And this final skill is... It's not really a new skill. I'll, I'll tell you guys uh, what it is once we meet the wolf. But yeah, the wolf is in um right in front of the castle. So yeah, so we're going to the castle and get like like a sneak peek of the barrier in the castle. All right, so this is really pretty. I actually like it. Yeah, here's the, the gates, and this is the barrier. Yep, so this is the castle, the barrier, and all that stuff. Yeah. Anyway, there's the wolf. Alright, Wolfie. Bite my head for the last time. Yeah. Alright, Wolfie. Teach me the last skill that... It's pretty similar to one of the moves I already have. Yes, I do wish to master it. Alright, then jump strike. I love this move, but say goodbye to it. Oh, I love that move. I love the jump strike. Alright, very well. The hidden skill is the great spin. Okay, so the great spin is pretty much, you know, shaking the nunchuck, you know, doing the regular spin attack, but this one's more powerful. So yeah, the only time that you can do the, use this great spin is, is your life, um, your hearts are all filled up. So if you if you have if you took damage, you can't do the um, the great spin. But this one's more powerful. It, like it covers more distance with with the spin. The great spin it covers more distance. That's what pretty much it does. So yeah, it's it's really useful if you have all your hearts filled up. But if you don't have all your fill hearts filled up, that's fine. Because either way, it's still a spin. A spin attack, whatever. Alright. Yeah, say goodbye to the skeleton guy. Or our ancestors, as a lot of people call him. I sometimes think that is Link's father. I don't know why, but... I don't know, when he said, do not falter or whatever, my child, I always think that's Link's father. I don't know. Either his father or grandfather or whatever <laughs> descended or ancestor it is. Why does he descended? I mean ancestor. But yeah. Um so now we are going to work to Kakariko Village to meet up with Shad. Alright. Let's meet up with Shad and we'll go on to the next step from there. And how many rubies do we have? I want to make sure that I have at least 300. How many? Uh, we have 349. Nice. Alright, so let's work to Kakariko Village. And then we'll talk to Shad and um, give him the book. Hopefully, he'll do something with that statue that's in the way. Alright, Wolfie. Let's transform into human. <coughs> and we should get our book out just in case. Or actually, we do need our book. <laughs> what the heck? And Ilya's still here. Well, let's talk to Ilya since we haven't gone here in a while. Yeah, he's waiting for me downstairs. Oh, that's it. That's all he. That's all she says. I thought she was gonna say, "Be careful," or whatever. Like some, like the usual Zelda girls, I always say, "Be careful" or whatever. All right, let's give Shad this book and let's see how he reacts. Yes, it is. 
Are there more letters in the word than the last time I looked at this? How did you investigate this? Shaka, this is amazing. Amazing. Now, this must be the word we need. Let's try immediately. I still love that chant. <laughs> oh. Well, he did something, but I didn't get rid of the statue. I don't know, Sha. I don't know what it means, but I have the Dominion Rod. I can move it. Yeah. Okay, so now we have the power into to the Dominion Rod. We can move the statue. And there we go. Okay. Now, before you go in here, you want to save. Save right now. Because if you save where you're about to get into, into this little small cave. If you save in there and turn off the power and turn back on, you're not going to get out of there. Like, it's a weird glitch. Like, if you save in this little cave, you're not going to get out. It's a weird glitch. And I'm pretty sure you'll find a video of that glitch around YouTube, so I'm not going to bother doing that glitch. Man, that's a cannon. How in blazes did you move that statue? And what's this? I'm guessing it's a cannon. Amazing and spectacular. This must be the sky cannon I read about in my father's notes. I knew that my intuition was onto something when it led me here. But how can one use this to get into the city in the sky? Well, let's go near this cannon. And Minas want us to do something with it. Well, of course we want to warp it. But... Yeah, the guy's still watching us. We know. So we talk to the Shad again. And we tell him to get out. No, not 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 rudely to him. We're not gonna be rude and say get out. Yeah. So yeah, he's um gonna be respectful and leave the place. Yeah, we're not gonna be rude people and say get out. <laughs> I wonder if I put him off. <laughs> I love that line. That is funny. I love that line. That is really funny. Alright, so now Shad's gone. We can warp this cannon and we warp it to Lake Hylia. I mean, who's the only person that knows how to deal with cannons? You know the fiery guy, right? Yeah, we haven't met him in a while, so he can um, take a look at this cannon. And I'm going to skip the scene. It's pretty much just transporting the cannon to Lake Hylia. That's pretty much it. Oh, Lake Hylia is so pretty. And I still need to do that cave in Lake Hylia. I forgot about that. I'll need to do that like once I'm done with this next dungeon temple area. Oh, the music is so pretty. I just love this place. It's just a beautiful place. I wish I could live here. That'd be so awesome. Just right next to the lake and have the pretty view and pretty sunset and all that. That's pretty. It's really nice. So yeah, let's talk to this fire guy. And this is when you need the 300 rupees for the fire. Hey, buddy. So, uh, is that yours? <laughs> hey, buddy. I never thought you could get hooked on blah 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 fantastication that you tried to build your own cannon. So, are you going to give me the tour or what? It's lucky you have a serious rig on over there. Look, I can't even talk. <laughs> Whoa, it's kind of retro, huh? Sorry I edited the video. Um, you know, somebody was kind of spying on me. Or, it was my sister, but she kind of came in earlier. So, yeah, I had to kind of skip some of the text. But anyways, listen, buddy. I suppose I might be able to fix it for you. I mean, Maybe. That is, if you pay me 300 rupees. Yeah, so this is where the 300 rupees come in place. So yeah, you definitely need the 300 rupees to pay this guy if you want the cannon working. So yeah, say yes if you have 300 rupees. And cannon montage! Wow, this guy can build a cannon really fast. I love this montage. It's just so hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. I love that montage. That's the only montage you'll see in this game. I don't think there's any other Zelda games with montages. Not that I know of, I don't think. But that is a pretty funny montage. The, the fire building the cannon. Here we go, buddy. All working as it should, I think. It may look like a little jug, but this thing's got some powerful in You're going to be knocking on the door to the heavens. Huh. 
Yeah, he just put he quoted the word heavens, which yeah, you're actually going through the heavens. All right, so um, there's nothing else to do here. So this can leads us to the next place, which is the next dungeon. So let's get in there and go into the city in the sky. Oops, I just spoiled the next place, didn't I? Oh, it's not that. It's not really a spoiler. A lot of people play this game, so they should know what this place is. And... Kaboom! And we jump right into the pool. And... Here comes Uka. Or Uku. Phew! Gracious, we made it back, finally! Welcome, Vetra. This is the Sky City of the Uka. Er... Um, if you came all the way, I guess I can give you a tour of the city. Eek! Oh, wow. That's one cool dragon. I gotta give it that. But the language that the Uka is speaking, it's pretty much gibberish to me. <laughs> That's what they say. Oh goodness, brave adventurer, you won't believe it. There's a dragon raging outside the city walls. Yeah, I kind of figured that already. Yeah, you should check on everybody just to make sure they're not dead or anything. <laughs> or, you know, eaten. Because you guys look like chicken, so... I'm getting that's why the dragon likes to have you for lunch or whatever. Or <laughs> dinner or whatever. Okay, anyways, um, before we continue on, there's a couple of treasure chests that I want to get here. One's right here. I think one of them contains either some arrow bombs or rupees. Something like that. Why do we need water bombs? We're not gonna go underwater. I forgot about that. I keep forgetting to switch these bombs. Seriously. Oh well, I can use I can use those bombs too. The water bombs are used for either land or water, so it doesn't matter. Okay, let's open this chest. And we get 20 rupees. Not bad. Alright, let's swim up towards and... Where, which way is the shop? I'm not sure. I'm guessing... Wait. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, yeah, there's... The wind's gonna pick up in this place, so you might wanna be careful around here. And there's some deck of bubbles in front of the store, or the shop. So yeah, um, in this shop you can buy, you know, stuff here, but it's a lot more expensive, so you can buy any of these stuff in Hyrule Castle Town or any other places that have stores. Well, where are you speaking? Oh, Hylian, duh. Um, uh, I guess Link, you can say it's Hylian. Okay, hey, I'm gonna talk to the little Uka Jr. here. Hey, ooh, wait, ooh, get those bags, get them, please! Oh, he's so cute. But yeah, you can get Uku here if you want to, but... You know, I don't use Uku at all, so, yeah. I mean, if you want to, you can get Uku in the store, but I don't feel like getting him. But, whatever, I got him anyways. So, yeah, um, in the next part, we will start on the dungeon. So, this is Shaw Kirby 77 saying bye.